Hey guys, Hamad Benesha here from Andrew.ca. Uh, if you are located anywhere in Canada and if you have a MacBook that has liquid damage, that has a broken LCD, the MacBook with a GPU problem, a MacBook that doesn't turn on, a MacBook that does not charge, a MacBook with no backlight, a MacBook with a USB-C, USB HDMI ports not working, a uh, MacBook that needs a new trackpad, a new keyboard, or a MacBook with a lock on it, whatever it is, you name it, we can undo it. I hope you will enjoy the next video repair. Thanks for watching. Well, hi guys, and uh, comme d'habitude, un petit coucou à nos amis francophones. Uh, today we're working on a problem that's very common. It's uh, the BIOS lock, okay? Uh, it happens quite often in a lot of machines. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Let me turn this on. This is from a walk-in uh, client in Toronto. We just walked in, brought this machine. Uh, in, he uh, inherited this, this uh, MacBook from his son, who just finished university. But unfortunately, the, the son doesn't remember the password. He was trying to uh, reinstall or reformat the hard drive, but they cannot, they cannot find out what the password is. So um, he's trying to get rid of it. He went to the Apple store and they told him they cannot do it because the machine is too old. And also he doesn't have the proof, the proof of purchase. So they, uh, they suggested that he look for a third party. That's why he came here. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. And uh, I'm gonna tell you when I can do it and uh, when I cannot do it. Basically, if you want me to unlock your uh, BIOS, it doesn't matter where you're in Canada, I just need a proof of ID. And uh, I need you to sign a form that says that this serial number over here uh, belongs to you. This MacBook, I will record the serial number that it belongs to you and uh, with a piece of ID which I need to take a, a copy of. And as long as you do that, no problem, we can unlock it. Now to unlock the, the BIOS, uh, there's different uh, methods because um, up to 2012, the non-retina is pretty much straightforward. You need to reprogram the EFI. But after that, there is, uh, it's much more complicated because there's time management in the, in the BIOS, in the EFI and also the ID of the, of, the, of, the, of the MacBook that needs to be saved after 2012, otherwise it would not work. I mean, it would work, but the, 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 comp the computer become unusable. So anyway, I will, I will go through it a little bit more as we go um, uh, about doing the job. I will explain to you what I'm talking about a bit more. So for now, let's remove the back cover. We need to remove the, the logic board. And I will show you step by step what uh, what what I'm doing and uh, how it's done. Okay. So now, why is there so many uh, machines with 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 uh, with locks on? Okay. First of all, a lot of com a, lo a lot of companies. Okay. Um, they all not all of them, but a lot of them put uh, BIOS lock on the MacBook for security purposes. Okay. If this is uh, this machine was purchased from. Uh, uh, f f f from a com from a com company that's selling their the old MacBooks, most li most likely there will be also locks. So it doesn't mean the machine is um, needs to be thro thrown out. I mean the, the machine still working. It's just you know the, the locks needs to be um, to be removed. So that's when I, when when we come in, we can we, we can unlock it. Okay, if it's too old. Um, first of all, let's remove the battery. Okay, let's remove the logic board quickly. Yeah, because if uh, if every machine has a lock, a BIOS locked, has to be thrown in the garbage, well, that's a huge waste, like a huge waste. So if you have one of those, you don't have to throw it out. As long as you can prove it's yours or you bought it and it belongs to you now, that's not a problem. We can we can unlock it, okay? So just don't be wasteful and just let's be green and let's you know recycle. So it's still usable and it's still a good machine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this with the logic board. Looks it's pretty clean. And the reason why I asked for a piece of ID, I guess you probably uh, 
no wise because what if this machine was stolen uh, I cannot unlock it okay I, ne I need a piece of ID because if this machine gets traced it will come back here so that's why I need a piece of ID but other than that it's straightforward that is not not a MacBook that we were unable to unlock they all can be unlocked all oh, doesn't matter the year doesn't matter the model okay so we uh, remove the logic board so the BIOS is here okay we're gonna desolder it side so when this to be done I need to produce this device over here I'm gonna put plug in the, the bars here okay now pin number one needs to go at the top okay otherwise it's not gonna work okay. just gonna cool it off a little bit okay now I'm gonna plug it into a PC which you won't be able to see but I'm gonna put on the screen the program that I'm using okay and I'm gonna go through it quickly and give you um, some explanations so first of all if you need to keep the serial number for any reason you need to keep the serial number um, onto the onto the new BIOS okay this serial number you want it to match the BIOS we're gonna put here you need to use before you do anything you need to use a program called hex edit okay and you will edit the same number of the old um, of, of the, the BIOS you're going to use of the the new AFI you're going to use the clean one okay and you're going to apply you can use hacks edit and you'll be able to 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 reprogram the um, the serial number when this is done you're going to use this program that you see on your screen um, the name is at the top left there and basically what it is um, first of all you're going to back up your, your old BIOS especially if it's uh, 2012 and higher why you want to do that it's extremely important that you do that because it is um, an ID that would be required when when you were programmed the, the, the new BIOS okay without that ID the computer will not be functioning properly okay the um, the ID time management doesn't exist in MacBooks that are a bit older like up to 2012 they're not right now anyway 20, uh, 29 2010 2011 2012 the non retina you do not need to to um, the, the the ID you don't need, because it is no time management anything after that you if you need to back up your old uh, BIOS you will run into serious problems because it will be unusable after that it will work but it would be so so slow like barely unusable so make sure you back up your, your uh, BIOS first and then you can reprogram it okay so basically once the the, the reprogramming is done so it takes it takes about 15 to 15 minutes okay to do the whole thing probably half an hour if you want to reprogram the you know the to reuse the the old serial number and then uh, once this is all done basically you're gonna you're gonna desolder the the BIOS from this pro from this, from this over here okay which I already did and I have the BIOS ready here um, okay it's ready to go so I'm gonna put it back I'm gonna, you're gonna we're gonna turn on the MacBook see if the lock is gone and it should be gone so I'm gonna put a little bit more fresh soldering
Okay, that should be good. Okay, we're gonna plug it back in and we're gonna test it. Okay, we're just gonna first put a couple of screws. I'm not gonna completely close the job until I know for sure it's working. Okay, that's good enough. Let's give it a try. If it's all good, then we'll close the job. Okay, so. Let's do one, press option key. There you go. No more lock. No, I can see the hard drive. So the lock is gone. Okay, there was no need to throw away this uh, working machine. Uh, it's much, much cheaper than getting a new one. And uh, there is less waste in uh, landfill. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, any concerns, any anything you like to know more about, feel free to, to email us or contact us. There is a form you can fill up on uh, undoit.ca. Remember, if you did it, we can undo it. So and do it that's and uh, there's a form you can fill up it takes a few minutes you just describe the promises of your macbook so, and uh, we'll reply to you we'll give you a quote how much it costs exactly and um, we also give you uh, how to proceed uh, for the next step if you, if you qualify for free shipping and then um, that's it. it's very simple very easy um, any question again uh, feel free to give us a call or email us or we look forward to hearing from you and um, so I'm just gonna close this job, put back the couple of screws left over here. And so I'm gonna remove the battery first obviously and, uh, and then uh, that's it, the job is done. Thanks again for watching, have a great day.